Hi guys, welcome to Heartlight Tarot and Astrology. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I work with Energy of the Tarot along with what's going on astrologically to give you guys a predictive forecast. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I post bi-weekly general, bi-weekly love readings, and one special video on um, what's going on astrologically. And I pulled tarot as well. This month's special reading is... Um, solar eclipse in libra you want to pay attention to that especially if you are here for what's going on in your relationship libra is a ruler of the south node and it's about what's what you're letting go um, of in regards to you know your relationship because libra is ruled by venus and venus is the ruler of relationships so you don't want to miss that okay um you right now you might be feeling that so for you guys for libra um you guys are the star of the show. I mean, what are you letting go of that doesn't serve you anymore? How do you want the world to perceive you? And how? Or what changes are you make to, making to make that happen? Um, Venus is an Aquarius, and Aquarius rules your... So on the March 3rd, sorry, let me back up. March 3rd and March 9th. You have Venus and um, yeah, you have Venus in your second or your seventh house. No, your fifth house. Venus and Mars in your fifth house of you know passions, uh, creativity, relationship with your children. Um, so I was, I was telling you guys in the last few months of videos that you're, you have a lot going on in that area. Okay. So you might be finding, um, you know, you, you, you might be in short distance relationships, like more passionate love affairs. Um, you might, um, <clears throat> find somebody at, when you're out doing some kind of creative pursuit. Maybe you found somebody that, you know, has the same passions as you and it's getting really heated. Okay. Um, but at the same time, you might be feeling like you want, you need to let go of something in order to move forward with this new passion. Okay. So the Venus and Mars and Aquarius and it's squaring Taurus. I just feel like you're going to be fighting for something. Okay. You're going to be fighting for something. Um, and it might be affecting either your ability to meet people or your ability to um, continue on with this relationship. But I wouldn't lose hope yet because on the 11th, Venus enters Pisces and Pisces, Venus and Pisces is a very romantic sign. So if you're looking for something, um, you know, more romantic and long term, I feel like there's really going to be, um, there's really going to be uh, some kind of, real movement on that day as far as like so you meeting somebody or you um pursuing a stronger relationship with somebody that you're with right now all right for you guys i got ace of swords so mental clarity right that's the energy you got right now for the beginning for the first half of march ace of swords and is clarified with the three of wands being able to clear your head okay a new clear perspective on what kind of relationship that you want um, and being clear and communicative with this person and and um, maybe you are on a dating site and you write exactly what it is that you want in a partner and you kind of just sit and wait with the three of wands here waiting for the right time um, or if you are single and you have this idea of what you think the, the next relationship is in your life that you want um, you are very, very honest about the beginning of a relationship phase that you want and how you want the rest of your relationship to go. The three of wands here is saying that you're not going to get on that ship until you know it's the right one. So you're really being honest based on something that's happened in the past on what it is that you want in a relationship and you're not going to take anything other than what it is that you know that you want in a relationship. You're going to be very clear, okay? And the three of wands here, I feel like it's coming in for you because of your honesty. I feel like maybe somebody will be matching your honesty. Um, 
in regards to moving forward. So this person that you're with right now, if you are together with somebody or just starting something new, they might be um, very turned on and very excited and um, to start a new um, chapter with you because you're honest and they want to, you know, ride that same ship with you. You got sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. Um, maybe there's somebody that you're checking out, somebody that you're looking at on social media. Maybe they're looking at you. You have somebody that's, you know, a secret admirer. Um, maybe this is something in your past that you don't want anymore as far as gaslighting goes. Maybe somebody would always gaslight you. Um, gaslighting is like, they never do anything wrong. It's always your fault. You know, there's always a way that they can make you feel bad so that you can act the way they want. So maybe that's what you're being clear about, that this is not, this is something that I went through. I don't want to go through this anymore. And this person is like, don't worry. I've been through the same thing. You know, let's move forward and let's be in, you know, a positive uh, light for each other. Um, or if you are in a relationship, maybe you guys have both agreed that, um, you know, you guys need a different perspective, a perception of your relationship. Okay. It's time to. Um, just to be realistic and clear-headed and move forward together. Okay. That could be for some of you. I'm going to get you guys an Oracle card. Another one for yourself. You don't need to be in control of everything for a love relationship to be successful. Yeah, I feel like just the fact that you're maintaining clarity on, on what it is that you do want. Um, you could be having a new beginning with an air sign too, the Ace of Swords being here. Okay, so Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And I feel like it's okay to just let, let yourself be undone a little bit and just to be honest and say, this is how I am. And you don't have to have control of everything. You don't have to have it all together to deserve love. And this person's going to come in and they're going to see that and they're going to be able to love you even more. They're going to love you the right way so that you can expand and be a better person, a better version of yourself. Um, I feel a lot of hope with this reading. Okay. I do. I feel a lot of positivity and hope and I really do wish you the best. Don't miss out on your solar eclipse and Libra readings and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.